welcome back to my channel so today i figured we would just do a simple quick haul um i'm chilling today i'm bare today um looking normal you know i do have my eyebrows done if you know me i had to do something just a little bit of something you know so <laughs> i have some things from alta i have some things from fashion nova i have some things from morphe so let's jump right into it so here from Alta, I have the Eyelord Silk Lux or Lux Silk Lashes. My apologies, and I've never had Eyelord lashes before, so I'm super excited to try these. They say they have up to ten wears in them. I normally don't wear my lashes more than twice, just simply because I just don't do the whole washing thing and all of that. So I barely even wear them twice. I usually just wear them once, which is actually kind of a waste. I'm going to learn to wash them so that I can keep reusing them as long as possible just to preserve them, you know, no need to spend extra money that doesn't need to be spent. So next for lashes, I have some Ardell lashes. Now these are just two packs of regular wispy lashes. Now I have tried the wispy lashes before and I absolutely love them. I think they are super glam, but also su super subtle when you need them to be. I love them personally. So also from Ardell, I have the Glamour Variety Pack, and this is ha this has the 105s, the 415s, the 601s, as well as the Wispies. Now I recently just tried the 601s out, like in my not my previous video, but the video before that, and I I fell in love with them. I absolutely love them. I will link the video below so that you guys can check out how they actually look on um, my face. And lastly, for lashes, we have the Kiss Zero One lashes. I have also purchased these before. This is not my first time wearing these. They're comfortable on the eye, and these go with multiple looks as well. I definitely, definitely recommend these to you guys, as well as the Wispies, because those are just some of my favorites right now. The 601s, I'm telling you, like, they really, they really killed the club for me. I really am really trying to buy a pack of those by themselves because they're just so cute so on lash day which was like last week that's when i was able to purchase all these things with my alter points so it also came with a gift bag and i have some house of lashes iconic lashes some grande lash adhesive like not adhesive i'm sorry um it's lash enhancing serum i'm really excited to try this like who doesn't want like bomb natural lashes some urban decay mascara i got some Lor lorac lorac mas mascara i think that's how you pronounce it lorac lorac mascara i have some lancome mascara and then they also sent me some milani has mascara i have this actually already and i love it and then some Maybelline mascara. So yeah, I got some really cool samples that I'm excited to try. I love Ulta. Next, we are going to get into the face products. So I want to start with my Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. And this is in the shade 10. Oops, I don't know why it's dusty. 10. I have the shade 20 already. So I tried 20. I love 20. But 20 is like a... a like a brown kind of shade i do love it and it doesn't look brown when i dust it all off it gives you more of a natural look it looks like a more skin complected look so i wanted to try 20 to see if it i mean i wanted to try 10 to see if it gives me that um that bright look so lastly for um face powders i have this burt's bees blush and this is in the shade toasted cinnamon now it does not come like this it's not supposed to look like this um, it got damaged in shipping, so they are currently sending me a new one. So I'm kind of sad I can't test that out as soon as possible because I've been waiting to get that blush for a very long time. The packaging was terrible. It had no bubble wrap, no saran wrap, no anything. It just came bare, bouncing around in the box. And I was just like totally upset. So lastly, no, I'm sorry, not lastly, second to lastly, we're going to get into lip products. Now, I do have these already in my collection and I have used these already in a previous video. I can link that video below to show you guys. Now, this is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Downtown Beauty. This is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I have about five to six brown lip pencils in my collection but just this one does something to me and i recently just purchased this so i've only used it once and i'm already like super in love with it since i already have like 
I think I have two of these downtown beauty pencils. I think I accidentally ordered another one recently just because I, I don't know. I Sometimes I be tripping. I'm thinking about um, some of the things that I have double of. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway. Let me know if you guys would be interested in getting some of these products, like maybe some lashes and this and some other things. So let me know if you would be interested in that because um, I'm definitely all for it. You know, I have more than I need. So I would love to do a giveaway. I'm definitely thinking about it. Let me know down below on my Instagram DM. Let me know. So lastly for lips, I did buy this as well. Now I have been using this for a couple days because I ran out of my Mario Badescu lip balm. So I have been trying this out. I absolutely love it so far. It was only like three bucks at Ulta. So definitely check it out. So now lastly from Ulta, I have the Garnier Since Skin Active. I think it's called Marcellar. Marceler water, Marceler skin water. I don't know. I'm gonna Google that word and practice it and learn it because it's my first time ever trying this. So um, I've been using it for a couple days now. So basically, I just get like a little cotton pad and I just squirt it on there and wipe my makeup off. And then I go in with a cleanser and also like to final it out. And then I go in with my Thayer's, um, Thayer's uh, toner. I will do a skin routine one day soon once I get everything that I need for that. But so I have been using this. It's been working pretty well so far. So if I do not like it in the next couple of weeks, I'll probably be giving this away in a giveaway too. Lastly, I just have some um, nail polish remover from Ulta. This is their brand. I've never used this before. They do have a bigger bottle. So I wanted to just purchase the little bottle to see how I liked it because I do my own nails. So I do use a lot of nail polish remover. So I just wanted to try that because it's actually cheaper than the one that I usually buy. This bottle was like a dollar. 49 I believe and then like the bigger bottles like eight dollars so yeah if I like it I definitely let you guys know that is all for our haul to all our haul to all I really need to get myself together huh and that is all for our Ulta haul we're gonna jump right into our Morphe before I get started I just would like to say shout out to them because the way they package and send everything off is just absolutely beautiful. Like everything was so protected. Nothing is broken. Not even a box is scratched. So I am so excited. This is my first time ordering from their actual website. I usually just order all my Morphe products from either um, Ulta, I think Sephora. Did I order from Sephora before? Not sure, so let me not lie. I know Ulta for sure. I've ordered some of my Morphe products from there. First, I'm gonna start off with the 3A Deep Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this was really, really cute. I actually just wanted to try it. Um, and here it is. It has like a little um, clear thing on top. There it is, bare in the flesh for you. Look at that. Are you serious? Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna swatch them really quick while we're here on camera. Oh, probably does no justice. Oh, this black, okay, like, and I'm not one for black shadows. So, flash is here. Here is smoky and here's darkness. Sorry my swatches are so trash. But I just want to see, I want you to see how Flash looks, which is that first golden color. Oh my goodness. I am in love with that. And sticking my fingers in them, they feel so, so creamy. Like, so creamy. I've never really played in black eyeshadows, so I'm super excited to play with that one. So I have here the Morphe, Morphe 35H Hotspot Palette. Now, this is... Is so pretty it came packaged of course with this which most of the palettes do and this beautiful box here so we're just gonna open that up and see oops this is stuck so it comes with this of course can you say excited now I am going to swatch these of course I'm not going to swatch them right at this moment we'd be here forever so I'm probably just gonna swatch them and then insert like the pictures probably as I'm talking about it but yeah this is absolutely beautiful like the pigment of these are just gorgeous 
Now, this is my second palette from them. Um, the James Charles palette was actually recommended by someone for me to try out. And I tried it out and I loved it. I was like, okay, you know what? It was like the only thing I used for like a couple weeks. So cute. I'm just going to touch one because I just want to see how like, oh gorgeous look at that look at so so pretty so pretty we're gonna move on to lips now this particular lip trio i have been debating on buying for like three months now so here is the out and a pout lip trio and this one is in caramel nude do y'all say caramel or caramel i don't know i'm gonna say caramel so it comes with these cute three items. So here we have the lip pencil. The lip pencil is in the shade Trendsetter. Trendsetter. Get my life together. Look at that brown. So cute. Then it comes with a gloss. This is in the shade Chill. Such cute packaging. And then it comes with a lipstick. This is a matte lipstick, and this is in the shade Boo. I like how they got the M stamped on there. That's cute. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch that for you. I'm gonna swatch the lipstick first since it's in my hand. That's pretty. Now I have a ton of browns, so y'all don't kill me, okay, for buying browns. I promise you, I'm gonna give y'all more color. the gloss so cute it's already cute together I love it I'm gonna do a lip liner on top all right now another brown huh <laughs> don't judge me <laughs> this is really pretty the formula um the formula on my hands feels really really silky smooth especially the lipstick for a matte it feels really smooth so I'm gonna let it dry on my hand and I want to see how it looks once it dries down so for the next um out in a pout combo i have the nude pink combo yeah not a brown it's almost a brown though but mm, cute so again it comes with a lip pencil a gloss and a lipstick and the lip pencil is in backseat love and then the lip gloss is in pop because that's a pop of color and then I have the matte lipstick in Wifey. Oh, Wifey. That's what this is in. Now, it kind of looks brown. I'm not gonna lie. Just a little. But it's still pretty. So let's go ahead and try. Let's swatch that first. Ooh. I like that. I can definitely have some fun with that. Especially with the palette. Like those cute pinks that are in there. We're gonna turn up. Ooh. And then we're gonna do the lip pencil on top. I'm not I'm not left-handed, so this swatch is gonna be kind of trash. There's a lip pencil right here. That's pretty. That's a pretty combo. Like that lip pencil is just cute. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have fun with this too. So I'm just gonna check on that matte. How it dry down it didn't dry down bad at all it's still kind of creamy i like it i love it because i don't really like mattifying um lip products like sometimes yeah just for like the culture just for like a certain kind of look but other than that i really don't like matte lips like the most is my lash lifting i think so i'm just gonna press that back down though until we don't with this video all right now ritzy these are some of my favorite lashes too. All right, so I'm wasting time. Let's go ahead and get into this Fashion Nova haul. I only have three items from them, so it's gonna be super quick, super easy. We're gonna get you out of here. Oh, lastly, do you see this? Like everything came, the lipsticks came packaged in this. Some of my, like things that need to be packed in this that don't get packed in this. Maybe I'm just bitter about the blush. Maybe that's, I think I'm just bitter. I think I'm being bitter. All right, let's jump into this Fashion Nova haul, you guys. I'm just gonna lift this up just a little bit. Um, these pants are just like regular sweatpants. Um, 
how I got these in a size medium, I believe. I love the way they fit. They're just like regular joggers. Oh, well, here I have these super cute fringe pants. I absolutely love fringe, you guys. Okay, so lastly, I have some more cute fringe denim. Aren't these just adorable? Like... This is definitely horses in the back vibes, okay? And they are jeans. You can't really see, but they do have a cutout right here, which is cute. These are also a size nine. Alright you guys, that's going to conclude our video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed, everybody who gets notifications for when I post a new video. I just want to say thank you to everyone. I appreciate the love and the support. Like It feels so good to know that um, all these familiar faces are sub to me and they tell me they like my videos. So I just, I really appreciate the love you guys. I really do. It's very authentic. If you know me, you know, it's genuine when I say that I appreciate something. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys opened your apps. I hope you guys buy some new things, get some retail therapy out the way, you know, I understand, <laughs> that's my problem, <laughs> so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video, bye!